Today I'll be showing you how to disassemble the Springfield Hellcat slide. Okay, so first off, we're going to push on this spring here. That guy's going to come out. Then we're going to take the, uh, the barrel out. That's the easy part. Now we're going to disassemble this part. This is where people typically don't know how to do it. To do this, first we're going to push on this guy right here. Now, you'll, you're going to need some sort of tool. If it's a plastic tool, that's better. Um, metal will work, but a lot of these, this guy is plastic, and so you can damage him, so be a little bit careful. But we're going to push on him, and then we're going to push this plastic guy back just like that. And then I like to put my thumb on here and then push this round thing down. And then that this plastic, the back side is going to come out. Then this spring will come out. Um, this is part of your extractor assembly. And these can come off. So if, if that part didn't come out, just give it a good shake and it'll come out the back. Um, and then we're going to pull out your striker assembly there. And then to get the rest of the extractor out, we're going to go ahead and push down on this guy here push that guy in towards the slide and then it'll come out right there and then this little plunger thing will come out and there's a spring right below him make sure we don't lose the spring there's a spring I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out as well and now everything is disassembled except the striker so to disassemble the striker there's two little cups that hold this guy in so I usually just push it against the desk or table and then you can see that's one half of the cup there's the other half this spring will come off. I almost sent that guy into the next state, so be a little bit careful. And then this plastic striker sleeve housing will come out. And you can actually upgrade this to a metal one um, if you so desire. And that's how you disassemble it. And then we're gonna wipe it all down, clean up, and then I'll show you how to put it back in. Um, you don't want a lot of grease on this. Very little, if practically none, is really ideal because it'll get all gummed up and you don't really want that to happen. So Okay, so now everything's clean pretty, so we're going to start putting it back together, uh, starting with the striker. So I'm going to put that guy on there, and the striker spring. And then to get these cups on here, it's really a pain in the butt, so I do like to grab something like this guy, because that way, if I put this on the table, I only get this much space to compress the screen. So the spring, if I put it in something like this, then I get much more space so uh, I don't have to push quite as hard. And I like to use my right hand to compress the spring because my right hand is my dominant hand. And then I'm gonna put one side of the cup in there, the other side of the cup thingy in here. And this um, sometimes requires some choice four letter words of your choosing, um, but for the most part, it's not too bad. And then the next step we're gonna do before we put the striker in is we're gonna put the extractor in here. Uh, if you put your striker in before, it'll get in the way. So we're gonna put that guy in and I'm gonna leave him out to the side just a little bit. You can see there. I'm gonna put this spring in here and it fell perfectly into place. And then on this guy, the flat side has to go towards the outside of your slide. So I'm gonna put that in there, push down on him, push the extractor into place, and now that's all there. Now from here, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna put my striker assembly back in the back there. I'm gonna put this guy in, and then this is the circle part that we press on at the very beginning. So this guy is gonna go in here, and you can feel he does, f the, the inner, inner guts only go in one way, and you can feel that it'll go in further one way than another. And you can see as I spin it, it goes in. And then you're gonna want this little tooth or cutout facing inside because this guy is going to go inside of that. So then we're ready to put it back together. So I'm going to push my striker assembly down there as far as it'll go. Put this plate in the back here. I'm going to push this guy down. Push that plate in and then I'm just going to push the plate in all the way while compressing this so it doesn't fight me as much. And then it all just snaps back together. And then this is pretty straightforward. You've probably done this a million times. Um, so I put the barrel in. This plastic part goes out towards the front. And then I like to put it on my my frame, of course, empty. And then I like to just cycle a few rounds just to make sure everything is looking great. Okay, and that's how you assemble, disassemble, and assemble your slide.